<laughs> well, hey. welcome everybody to another episode of Anderton's TV. TV. Uh, it's a very special day today, isn't it, Mr. P? Yes, it is. Uh, because the lovely Lee Wraith at uh, Ibanez slash Laney oh, yes. UK. He's back. Uh, he's back. He's, he's back. taken over. He has uh, kidnapped our social media channels. And he will be talking to you this afternoon with a host of special guests. Some Tom really... Quayle, Martin Miller, Larry Basilio, and Andy, Andy Timmons. Yes. Um, That's uh, incredible. It's a good line. I need to see that. So dive on over. I think you can watch it on uh, Anderson's Facebook page or our YouTube, YouTube channel live. Yep. Uh, but we're here today to support Lee's valiant efforts in getting the message of Ibanez and Laney out to people like you. Uh, Can that be his last name? Lee Valiant. Could you imagine? It could be. That's his middle Lee name. Lee Valiant. Lee Valiant Wraith. Um, so, now looks, this, looks like this, is a, this is a, a semi-blast from the past here. Um, back in 2019, uh, Laney, uh, via their kind of other brand name of Black Country Customs, and we'll come to that in a minute, Which we launched some really cool pedals and then had a bit of a supply problem uh, and couldn't get these into the shops as fast as they'd hoped. And then COVID came along, so we didn't see them for like a year after that yeah. either. Uh, and now, some two years after the <laughs> launch date, Pete and I are finally round to showing you these cool pedals. Mm -hmm. So we're also using the amazing uh, Laney Super Cub uh, series amplifiers. So anybody watching this video that thought, I can't afford a valve amplifier, they're way too expensive, I've got to stick with my little solid state XYZ, check out the uh, Laney Super Cub range. They're unbelievably affordable. Yeah. This is the top of the range one with the head and the cab, and it's about 500 quid for the yeah. whole lot. And that's a two by 12 cab. And as you can see, we've put it up on the, on the side, but it's also got feet to put it down on the ground. So you can either have it like that, yeah. vertical or horizontal. Horizontal like Lee likes it. <laughs> Or are you more vertical man? I don't know. Nah, it's just around. I, I'm more of a 45 degrees, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Somewhere in between. Somewhere in anyway, between. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to try a little bit with this Ibanez AZ guitar. We're going to try yeah. a little bit with the classic uh, 1959 Epiphone Les Paul. Yeah. Um, but we're going to focus mainly on the pedals. Yes. So the first one... Because, sorry to interrupt there, Lee, because there is actually a video that you and Rob did on this line. And if you want to watch that video, you can go up in the... Side he banner can. thing we there, can. and please like and subscribe for more banter and furious uh, hilarities. Right, the pedal. On, uh, sorry, the <laughs> amp on its own, Laney Super Cub, sounds like this, and I've put the reverb in. So here we go. Sounds like an amp. Yep, and Sounds as I'm sure you'd expect, uh, the amplifier has a gain uh, boost as well as the yeah. internal reverb and stuff like that. Got some nice gains in it. It's got a one you... watt mode if yeah. you want to play super quiet at home, but we're in its 15 watt mode. For the rest of the demo though, you're going to hear the amp with its internal reverb switched off and the reverb coming from this pedal here. And we might as well start here. Into the effects loop. Into the effects loop, absolutely. So these three pedals going into the front of the amplifier, this pedal going into the effects loop. So Laney, based up in near beautiful Birmingham. Um, Birmingham. And for those of you who are fans of uh, television programs like Peaky Blinders, or just generally understand the history of that region uh, of England, we call that the black country because it was part of that kind of industrial revolution, lots and lots of, you know, uh, industry and manufacturing coal. going on there, yeah. coal, everything. And uh, it kind of got a bit, sooty uh, over the years and got nicknamed the Black Country. So that's where Laney are and they that Robin Hood was? Was that Nottingham? Is that the same that's kind Nottingham. of... That's Nottingham. No, that's oh, a that's little the other bit more sort of east. I should know. Really, I've there. literally been um, everywhere in this country. Well, there you are. <laughs> so Laney's kind of custom shop in the UK is they call their Black Country Customs. Yeah. And you've seen, in fact, if cameraman yeah. could zoom in over Pete's shoulder, uh, that's uh, a sort of a Laney amplifier that's got that kind of Black Country Custom vibe that's such to a good it. Amp, that. Good amplifier. Yeah. So we've got four pedals in the range. We have an overdrive called the Steel Park. That's a reference, I believe, to, to the, the Laney's address. Uh, then we've got a monolith distortion pedal, a spiral array chorus, and a secret path yeah. uh, reverb. Okay, so secret path uh, yeah. reverb. Uh, has three modes of reverb. Spring, 
plate and the secret path. Uh, edit button as well on here and we'll go into that. This actually, the secret path is probably one with the most features on, so it'll take us the most time to go through it. Uh, so we have it in its normal mode at the moment, so we're not using any of the enhanced features that I'll come along to in a minute. And we can adjust the four controls, our pre-delay, so that's that split second before the delay kind of blooms in, adjusting how much of that we want. Volume, uh, size of the reverb, and tone. So we've got everything set, actually quite low at the moment, and we're in the, let's go to the spring mode. Spring. Uh, if you're a kind of, a, again, familiar with how reverb was generated in old valve amplifiers. It was a tray with springs in it that used to sit somewhere in the amplifier. And it has that kind of clangy vibe to it when you turn it up loud. There we go, it's cool. Uh, Do it again. The drip, the drip, Lee, the drip. I really like, it's a good reverb pedal. Yeah, probably I, wouldn't I have it quite as, as high as that, no, but that's the but spring mode. That would be um, like... Great. It's, uh, it's mono in stereo output and can be run with an expression pedal as well. I'll come to mm -hmm. that in a bit. Uh, plate is a different type of reverb. It's probably maybe cleaner, more metallic, maybe sounding as well. Plate, yeah. quite a typical studio reverb. It's what become very uh, popular with guitar players. His plate. <laughs> Now, I like that. secret I think it's path, mm -hmm. I've got to refer to its manual now because the secret path is like a... Um, it's like a film. It's modelled on a large hall and delivers a very unique, beautiful, deep, dark, mesmerising <laughs> ambience. I've never seen so many adjectives used in a single description. Um, so here's the secret path. Is there a shimmer in there? Well, not yet. Ah. <laughs> uh, not yet. Okay, right. So the secret path also has an enhance mode. Enhanced. Um, enhanced. If you're in America, enhanced, enhanced. solo. <laughs> um, <it's>, oh, no. <laughs> and the idea being is depending on which mode I'm in between spring plate and uh, secret path mode, uh, it will add in an additional functionality. So spring and plate, what happens is it adds in a modulated yeah. reverb effect mm -hmm. and secret path, it adds in some shimmer. Um, so all we do is we select the reverb that we want it to be and we might as well start with spring Shimon. and we <laughs> hold the on off button down for two seconds and you can see the LED starts to uh, flash so yeah that's subtle on that one so, yeah I mean it, it should be we can turn the So that is definitely there. You can hear yeah, it like that's modulated wobble. spring reverb. You can using the edit button here in conjunction with the size kind of um, adjust how much modulation it, there is in there. I was finding when we were messing around before that that actually anything less than maximum is quite hard yeah, to it's hear. It's very subtle, isn't it? Um, so here we go on the plate mode. Let's yeah. engage the uh, enhanced.
Again, very subtle, isn't very it? Subtle, very subtle, very subtle. But I don't think you want too much modulation on your reverb. No, not really on your reverb. Okay, lastly, uh, we are doing the secret path. This is the one that adds shimmer in, so here's no shimmer. And here comes some shimmer. I like the shimmer. Also, look, trails. Trails. Yeah, that's yes. actually one of the nicest features I think on the on the secret path. Right. Is you can switch it off and the trails carry on. That works. So important. Whatever trails for me. In. Trails are important. Trails. The other thing, which is kind of nicely thought out, is. Uh, the pedal will remember whether you had each of these modes in its enhanced mode or its non-enhanced mode, so you don't have to keep kind of you know doing this press and hold thing if you don't want to if you just always want it to be it's in a so certain clever. mode. It's so clever. Uh, I'm going to put it back to its non-enhanced plate mode and turn it down a little bit, and that will be our kind of reverb for the rest of the That's demo. Seven. Yeah, okay. Right, now we're going to go over to the Spiral Array. Spiral uh, array. This one, uh, if you're a modulation uh, pedal owner, you can get just as good a results putting it in. Well, in fact, different results, I suppose, depending on what you like. But uh, this can go in the effects loop of an amplifier or mm -hmm. in the front of an amplifier. It's really up to you. Uh, typically in the front end, like we're doing now, you'll probably find it's a little bit more obvious to hear. On the Spiral Array, we've got three modes of chorus, uh, an analog mode, a tri-stereo chorus mode. It is a stereo pedal mm -hmm. and like a dimension mode. These are all references to sort of famous chorus pedals in the past. Uh -huh. um, we're just using it in mono, by the way. Uh, depth rate, mix, and tone are your four options. And in analog mode, it sounds like this. Ooh, seasick. Good it? chord, oh. good chord. And then the um, triple chorus, triple stereo chorus. Is that Dimension. Subtle. Nice enough though. Yeah. Um, Lovely subtle sort of, yeah, not. I'm going to take that off for the time being whilst we do the, the two gainy pedals and then right at, in fact, at the beginning you heard a kind of a blend of, of a blend. three of them, didn't you? Um, okay, so we're over to the drive pedals now. Uh, one is a, a more traditional distortion, one is more of an overdrive. Actually, the, the overdrive also is one of the modes in the overdrive is essentially based around that Tony Iommi boost that yeah. Laney did Oof. for him as well. So we'll start with the, the higher gain ones. Three modes of, of distortion here. Uh, we've got one that's more like a, slightly more like an overdrive, one that's uh, sort of softer clipping and one that's yep. harder clipping. And we'll go through those, give you an idea of how they sound. Okay, let's wrap um, over to the... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, get a bit of... Um, um, Humbugger the, going on there. Most of the controls on here are, you'll be familiar with. So drive, volume, and tone. Range uh, is adjusting how much of the bass end comes in. So you can kind of filter out some of that bass end if you want it to yep. be a bit tighter at the bottom. Ew. Um, <laughs> so here we go with like a low drive overdrive. <laughs> Too much reverb there, Lee. A little bit too much. Let's 
good rock sound. Okay, good rock sound. Yeah. Uh, I'll just start to wind the drive up a little Do bit. Do Yes, sir. Right, mode two, yep. D1 it's called. I'll turn the drive down again and we'll wind it in like we just did before. Oh, yeah. Finally, D2. <laughs> I was enjoying that. Oh, wow. Much saturated songs yeah. there. It reminds me of an old vintage Laney driven tone. It does. It's, I it's, mean, it's also a Laney amp. That's it? very true. It's a Laney amp and, yeah. and not an expensive Laney amplifier either. So I'm, I'm impressed by the, the what this cost. This is insane amount for yes. two, less than 500 quid. Completely As you said, agree. you can't even get a Fender Blues Junior. Yeah, that, that whole stack is, I think, less than something like a Fender Blues Junior combo. Uh, so right, let's do this Steel Park. And again, we've got three modes of Steel Park let's as well. Let's knock it out of the Steel Park. Uh, then we've got a more traditional bass and treble control with drive and volume at the top. So we'll start in mode zero and wind it in a little bit here as well. Wind the bobbin up. Yeah, it's nice, it's yeah. nice just to crunch it. Red mode. Basically, the three different modes are just boosting different frequencies. Okay. So the purple mode, which is that one, has no real um, accent on the, okay. on the EQ. Uh -huh. It's just an overall boost. Yeah. Uh, the orange mode, or it looks a bit more red on here, but orangey yeah. red mode is more of a mid boost. And the yeah. blue mode is more of a bassy, fatter, sort of low mid boost. Let's go between um, I like that. I like that a lot too. Yeah. And what's kind of nice like as well into, is, uh, is I have, I have. as oh, far yeah. as I'm aware, there's not a lot of gain actually coming from the pedal. So the predominantly what you're hearing is us using this to really kind of cook the valves that are in this I little see. super cup okay. head. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a little bit of gain in here, but yeah. it's, it's this is the, the monolith is the more sort of built-in yeah. drive pedal. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, if you've got any questions and you're watching this video pretty much, you know, within an hour or two of it coming out, 
Uh, you can dive on over to our other social media channels and ask Lee Wraith and see what guest he's got on. Maybe you're a fan of um, Martin Miller or a fan of Tom Quayle or, or Larry Basilio yeah. or, or Andy, Andy Timmons. Timmons. Um, Everybody's been fans. I mean, of Andy people. Timmons, isn't he like the recognised king of tone? Isn't isn't basically that's his thing? He is Mr. Just a tone killer, killer guitar oh, tone. So good. Yeah. So ask him. Say, Andy, yeah. what pedal do I need to buy so that I can sound and play like you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and the question is all of them. Yeah. Um, so there we are. Look, that that's it. The Black Country Custom Range, made in the UK. And look at the box. Oh, the, box it, nice, yeah, like, the box is nice, yeah. The box you get like a nice little um, something to keep. I don't know. You can keep your marbles in or whatever it is that you uh, collect and keep. I've lost them already. Lee. Um, so they're quite nice. Yeah, nice yeah. little presentation box as well. Yeah. Um, and the it. kitchen, they're good for kitchen. Like tea yeah, bags. I've got to say, I think the star of the show is without doubt the Super mm. Cub. Yeah. Uh, if there's a better looking or sounding amplifier that you can buy for 500 quid than that, I don't know what it is. Let's um, try it without a. Just, okay. I just want to do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah put that in as well. Can I just say, for all the people that are forced to live in flats or have um, family members that don't like loud guitar noise... One what mode? Yeah. I can hear the we, strings more yeah, than... Yeah. And 15 watt <laughs> valve amplifier into a 212 cablifier. A cablifier? <laughs> yeah, that's a new you've word, a cablifier. In, you've invented, uh, a, I've new invented thing. a thing. I've invented a thing. That's 15 watts is absolutely enough to play with a drummer, do some little gigs with, no problem at all. Yeah. Good. It sounds good. Yeah, it's I lovely. really like it. I really like it. So there we are. Anyway, enjoy the rest of this afternoon's and early evening's shenanigans yes, with Lee Wraith. It. Um, and uh, yes, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And we shall see you again in another video. Bye bye.